Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Wild North Addiction. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is William and Wild North Addiction is full of bust ups and no plan. Today we've uh, we actually got a bit of a plan. Well I always say that but I'm actually following quite a good mate of mine, uh, Willis, and we're in a completely new spot. I've never ever been here, let alone uh, fished here. Uh, we've got the surf casters and Willis actually caught a 30 pound snapper off the beach here. So hopefully we we should be able to get into some fish. Not like my other surf casting episodes, they've been absolutely shit. But fingers crossed we can get into some fish. So it's about 6.30 in the Yavo now and uh, cruising on down. We'll probably fish till dark and I've actually got a little something to show you guys on the top of my truck I've uh, got a pretty wicked setup from Rome Outdoors so that's something that we're going to set up on the beach so no mucking around let's uh, get straight into it I'm actually fizzing for this one this one should be good this looks like the little posse public notice no access to the beach Willis is on the gate, he's the first one, so uh, look at him go, he's on. For once I'm not doing the gates, actually I'll close it. <laughs> You're even going to close it? There we go, do that for you bro. Wow, what a gentleman. I was just about to take off the seatbelt. Go forward a bit. Sometimes it's not about the fishing, it's about uh, getting to the spot and the spot, and look at it. It's pretty mean. Pretty mean. And apparently it's uh, mega soft. You reckon to go in the old low, in the four wheel drive low. So that's what we're doing. And holy demon, this is a big hill. Check it out. This is the spot. It's bumpy. Luckily we got the old tough wagon. Loves it, the old high tide. Yeah, this is sick. Is the wild west coast right there? This is where the milchers are. How good! Big dogs right here. So we'll uh, get the surf caster out, and then I've got something to show you guys on the truck. You've probably already seen it. We've got the old rooftop tent, and let me turn the light off, and uh, an awning from Rome so that's pretty cool alley cab but no mucking around we're gonna get these rods out because that's what we're here for big snaps all right got the uh, gear set up it's quite basic just the three-way swivel with a BKK circle hook and that's actually a bit of Trev just with the sand sinker Willis is about to cast his got the old dial up We 
to sort of just realign the trucks because my uh, canopy that you guys are about to see is on the other side and I don't know if you guys can hear it but it's bloody windy I'm pretty keen to catch a fish Nice little bit of bait. I uh, didn't bring any bait. That was just some of uh, Wallace's Trevally. But I'll keep that for maybe in the morning or something. And that bait right there is still good to go. Just get it back out there, first fish. Right, so the uh, good fellas at Rome outdoors this morning, they uh, chucked this big 270 awning comes right around the back here it's bloody sick and then they got some drawers in here which they fold out and this nice carpet such a good job it's uh bloody sick and then the big dog is the tent alley cab so thank you very much to jack i'm just going to show you guys how bloody good these things are and i think you guys are going to like them so uh, let's put them up, it's absolutely pissing down, but we should be able to make it work. Right, I'm quite short for this guy, should be right. Something like this, and then there's some Velcro there. It goes through that hole and then loops back over itself. Oh, look at all the water on the camera. What a bust up. Velcro there. I'm quite short for the job. Looks like it's meant to do that. And then this. It's meant to just come out here. That doesn't feel right. Go on! Oh! Wallace is on! Is it a big dog? Okay, never mind the tent. It's still uh, half set up. Good fish? Snap rolling. First snap out. Couple kilos. Yeah, boy. See, just like that, I just got a car wire. Willis is onto a snap halfway through setting up the tent. Of the old uh, awning. Yeah, boy. Couple of kilo, eh? Kilo. Snapper's on. Snapper's on board, hopefully. Fingers crossed that it's a snapper. Check it out. Good boy. That's a mean fish. Nice west coast panty, eh? Well, yeah, it's coming home. Nice. Yo. Mean. Mean job. Nice west coast snap. Not bad, Wallace. Your spot's providing. There we go. That one, uh, straight in the bin. Straight in the bin, boys. Hopefully, I don't have feed fish on. Yeah, feed the fans. Hopefully I don't have fish on, I'm still trying to set this dog up. Oh here we go, this is the problem. This is the problem. It just comes around here like that. And watch the Land Cruiser Prado unfold. Oh. That's sick, eh? Easy, quite easy. And then I think there's another one that comes out here. I'm pretty sure. How sick's that? And then there's this little bit here that... Oh! I'm a bit 
short for the old job, especially when it's windy. I had to put the old cam down. Now my ain't got a fish on. Nick Minute fish on. Well, no prediction, full of bust ups, no plan. Unless we're catching fish though. Alright, this car wise going home. I'm still meant to be uh, looking after my finger. The dog nearly got chopped off, but it's alright. Straight into the old fishy car wise. Loves it. This is on. This is good fun. I like CF casting when I catch something. How sick is this? This is such a mean addition to the old uh, Land Cruiser Prado. And it's strong too. That's mean. I am very impressed. Look at the size of the uh, who's in my bobbers. But we'll get this tent up and we'll show you the real work. That big dog up there. First time I've actually put it up too, by the way. So I don't really know what I'm doing. But I see a yum that you gotta take these off. Oh shit. So you just take off these hatches. My assuming you just push it up. Just like that. Can't really see because it's a little gap in there. And then she's up. Rooftop tent. Gotta close those things over, otherwise you get wet in there. Guys, so just a little bit of an update. The tent, how sick is that? That is so mean. This little thing on the side here, that's just a shower cube. It, uh, it's just to hide these big aluminium brackets, but we don't need to have a shower, because it's been pissing down. Tent's all good to go. As you guys seen, it just undered those hatches up there and it just popped straight up. Forgot to show you, but these drawers here, Got the old far far north style of hooks in here. That's the ladder bag. And wow, check it out. So mean. Unreal. So yeah, this is the uh this is actually the first trip that I've tested all this stuff. And I was setting it up in the rain, it was pissing down before, but now we've got the most beautiful, actually not the most beautiful, but we've got a nice west coast sunset. Rods are out, not too many uh, snappers. There's plenty of car wai. I've caught about two car wai. Well, two or three car wai maybe. Well, it's got that nice snapper, and then that's it on the snapper front. So it might be a bit of a slow afternoon, but I'm staying on the beach. Willis, he's going home. And anything can happen. This is the big dog spot, apparently. 
So we just got to make it happen. Got uh, what else is going on? It's over here. We got squid and crayfish for bait. So uh, we'll just get a few crays for bait. Squid, trevally. Don't lose that. That's a bust up. But Phyllis is having a beer. I'm gonna be able to crack a beer as well. And this is what I call living berry. Can't get much better than this. No one else is here, apart from me and Willis, having a few beers and catching car wires. <laughs> is that the lucky bait? I reckon. Right, she's been very, very slow, just having a beer. And we just looked over at uh, Willis's rod and he seems to be on. Big dog. Right on, son. Get on. Oh, no. Come on. Lost him. Right on, sunset. Could have been a better one. Still got it, it's not a snapper. Oh, you still got it. Shark. Shark. Snappers never, never swim towards you, boy. Nah. Willis, the legend of surf casting. Right on sunset. Not a bad spot if you ask me. Pretty bloody good. Shark. It is a snapper, never mind the shark. That's a nice one too. Nice west coast panny. So that's a good fish. Panny boy. That's how it's done. That's Willis's version of a shark. <laughs> I would have caught it, if I'd broken that off, I would have caught it for a shark. Yeah. Swamp the beach, slack line. There we go, right on sunset. That's what the uh, fishermen say. Fish start biting on the sunset and yeah there you go check it out nice fish on a bit of cray well this you've done it again someone's got to show me how it's done <laughs> look at that that's so good right on sunset colors that one's going straight in the bin feed the fan feed the farno for uh wallace's family that's what it's all about Alright, so she's uh, pretty dark now. Willis is actually putting on a little glow stick on his um, the end of his rod tip. I'm pretty sure, I think that's what he's doing. And uh, I'm not, I'm just going far, far north styles and trying to squint my eyes to see if I've got a fish on. Fishing's very slow, it's pretty shit actually. We've got two nice snappers, Willis got two nice ones. And uh, but we're carrying on. We're not going to stop here. We're uh, persevering and uh, hopefully fingers are mega mega crossed. Alright, good morning guys. It is currently about 5.30 in the morning. And I set my alarm because uh, Willis reckons the fishing should be on in the morning. Got absolutely no sleep. It was uh, got real windy last night actually. I actually had to go and put a peg down and tie my um, tarp to it. I uh, tied my 270 awning to it so it didn't flap away. We probably should have been alright but it's just the first time I've used it so I'm still getting used to the old how much wind she can take. So we've just been safe, got no sleep. Um, did some editing last night at about 2.30 in the morning and now we're here but anyway how's the tent absolutely so sick I've actually bought this blanket it's not even a blanket it's like one of those ones that goes on a couch so it's not even fluffy so it's a cock up but don't know if you guys can see 
it is looking very good for the West Coast. Sun's about to come up. Can't really see it. But I think we're not gonna muck around. I'm gonna get my lazy ass out of bed. And uh, all I gotta go and do is flick a, flick that line. She's all ready to go. I just gotta chuck the sand spike in. So I'll uh, probably go and flick it and then come back up here and watch the rod. And just like that, we're fishing. Oh look, we on. Are we on? Oh, we are on. Oh, bust up. Yeah, boy. First cast, first fish this morning. Could be a car wide, not quite sure yet. First fish of the morning. I uh, just woke up, this first cast. And I still got my socks on, I'm being gay. Who wears socks on the beach? But anyway, it's a nice fish and it's going straight home. Still got the old socks on. He's gone. How good. That's a great idea. You see these rocks around just at the end of this beach here, like out on this point over there. There's absolutely no swell. And I've got the soft bait rod. This is so shit, we're not catching anything. So I might go for a walk around there with the softy rod and see what I can get. I've, um, I don't know if anyone's actually probably soft baited off there. Maybe, probably. But. I haven't heard of any stories of soft baiting off there, so I'm gonna see if I can create one. But yeah, nah, this surf casting stuff, it's uh, pretty average today. Not very good, so we'll pack down the tent, get this um, big awning in, chuck all the stuff in, and uh, make our way down there. We'll probably walk, but nah, a little bit too far. And uh, this plan only happened about I only got thought of about two minutes ago and I like the idea. So we're out of here. Need to catch some fish for you guys. So let's go.
probably reckon we can make this work without without having to uh, break down the rod. I think I'm sure we'll be able to make it work. Something like this, anyway. Got these jaff straps here that mean as we just strap it to the pole. Tight as we can get it like that. Not going anywhere. That's gonna work for sure. Definite. Check it out. Our Kiwi ingenuity. Even like that, that'll work. Just try and tighten that up a bit. Check it out. Nice and slow. Wins the race. As long as we don't get hooked up in the tyre, we'll be all good. He's all good. Park up here, go for a little flick with the softy. We're going to use this little little jobby. It's quite the favourite one at the moment. It's the uh, Pilchard Glow. It's what it's called on a little uh, 3.8 bay, ju bay junkie jig head. We'll just walk around here and see what we can see what the go is. It is such a shit day. It is raining, then it's nice weather, and then it's raining. Just busting up. But let's try and get some fish. Why not? We're here, we might as well make the most of the place. The perfect size little livey. See you later, mate. There'd be some big kingies here, I'd say. This is what I come here for. Magical weather and no fish. Can't do much about the fishing, but look at the weather. Can't do much about the weather either. But check it out. It's so rugged. No fish on the softy yet, just a couple of little car wise. Haven't even caught a snapper since I've been down here. Busting up. Grumpy Big Willa soon. This is a sick car. Ditch up that was. Oh my god, it was pissing down like torrentially pissing down. And now look at it, it's just drizzling. Probably could have handled the drizzle. I def we could have handled it if we uh, weren't trying to make a video and the cameras were getting all busting up. But I'm gonna call the video there now. I do actually have a little bit of news to tell you guys, and that is that I'm getting a new boat from Invercargill. I'm getting a um, Fruza F15 Fisher, so like a cuddy cabin, 4.8 or so meters, 4.9, and uh, there's been so many good sponsors that have jumped on board. I just want to thank all of them, 
every single one of them. I won't name them because I know that I'll miss out one. I'll, na I'll name the main ones, which are Fruza, Honda, Hosking Trailers, Garmin, and um, yeah, they're the main ones. So thank you guys very much to you guys and all the other people that are jumping on board. And also, when I go pick my boat up in Invercargill, which my ferry booking is booked for the 19th of Feb, to get over to Picton and then I pick the boat up on the 23rd. I'm going to be in the Milford Sound, Fiordland, go all and explore all around there, try and catch a bluefin and honestly I'm just winging it. I'm doing a road trip, it's probably going to be, could be one month, could be two months, could be three months, could be four months. When I run out of money I'm coming home but hopefully if you guys keep watching the YouTube then hopefully that doesn't happen and we can keep exploring a beautiful country and making videos for you guys. So that's something that I'm looking forward to but in the meantime going back home and uh, sorting out everything to begin this big trip so it's going to be epic, can't wait and I'm fizzing it to bit. But I'm going to leave you guys there, don't forget William the Fisherman on Instagram and Facebook and Wild North Addiction on TikTok and also subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel keeps me going and uh, you guys know the rest see you guys on the next episode thank you very much for watching